Welcome to Kari Gumbo, the podcast where Nicole and Ashley discuss Black film and TV. Okay, Rap Shit, season two, last season, episodes five through eight. Part two, long overdue. <laughs> yes. Um, the girls are in LA. Uh, they're they on are, tour with Lord AK. They the opener for and the opener. Raina, and Raina Rain. Episode five, they're at this bill. They're getting invited to a billboard party. Well, we also see there's tension between Chastity and Francois. I couldn't really yeah. figure out why. Like, why is he a hater? Yeah. So you think... Why? Francois is being a hater because he not even trying to have to let Chastity know anything. He don't want her there. I wouldn't want him there. I wouldn't want, excuse me. I wouldn't want her there either. If I was in Francois's position, but they can work. They can't work together. How would, Francois be benefited by working with Chastity. I think that there's a lot that Chastity. She's not okay. She's not like Francois is more popping than Chastity. I get that, but towards the the latter episodes, can't remember which episode it was, like seven or eight. When she when she met she met um what's her name Alex, and was trying to get things going. And Francois was like, oh, you got to pick one. If y'all do the deal with Alex, then forget the song with Partisan Fontaine. It's like, damn. You really going to forget the song with Partisan Fontaine because Chastity has a connection with Alex? Is that wrong? But why? Why? Because it's his work. It's his but work, and it's, it's still gonna be his work. How? If he the producer, he's still the producer. I feel like no one talks about all of Nicki Minaj's managers. Like I, I just kind of feel like the management team. I don't know. I just, I just, I feel like. Maybe it's okay. I support sex workers. I don't. <laughs> I know that so pimps that's, that's are sex part. workers, but yeah, I don't. I just. I don't. I don't like chastity, and because that's what that's what she does. And so if it she doesn't, didn't, if she didn't do that, if she if she said, you know what, I'm going to stop. I'm a manager now. Would that change your mind? It's the mind games for me. That she would probably still have, even if she wasn't doing that. Okay. I don't. I don't like how she makes. I don't like that she how she tries to make the girls believe that she is a necessity when she's not. Okay. I I would rather her come to the table being like, I know I, I have wanna... to prove myself to y'all. I or we're helping I wanna each help other you guys? out. Not even I want to help you guys. Like, I want to help you, and I want y'all to help me. This is a team effort. I'm new at this, just like y'all are new at this. And I'm I'm figuring it out as I go. Can y'all please stick with me? If you know, and I maybe she's done that in in certain ways, and I'm just not giving her credit for it. But but didn't I didn't Trans- Transley got them the song in the club season one, right? By playing the fuck around, and I, okay, I well, guess that's what they, that's how things happen, though. People be lying. I hear so many stories. But don't lie to me. Life. Don't lie to me, though. Don't lie to me. Like you, you gotta be like, hey man, I had to wing that shit. I, you know, I don't even know how that shit happened. It was luck and hustle. Don't sit up here and act like you that nigga when you ain't when that nigga. I don't, I don't okay. like that type of fake shit. Okay. I want you to be like, look, I don't know how this shit getting done, but it's going to get fucking done. Watch me work. I'm about to, I'm about to 
you know, talk my shit to all these people and this shit going to get done. Don't have me think like, if you're going to have the girls working at the hotel that we at, let, like, let a, let a nigga know. That, that is true. I, I get that. Chassie I don't, has all her, yeah. she's doing too much and not being honest about it with everybody. I, I don't like the way she talks to her sex workers. I don't like the sure. way she does. I, like, I, I don't like that. So I just don't give a fuck what happens to Chastity. But I also don't care what happened to Mia or like, I, I just think all of them are just, I want to give everybody a whooping. Cause everybody is just making some decisions that's making me be okay. You know, it's it's because I'm Wait. 38. It's because I'm 38. Possibly. All right. Back <laughs> to this. I want to get back to this billboard party. So we saw in the previous episodes, Mia. Um, I don't even know what you call it. A date with Cash, the rapper Cash, and he buys her a dress because she tells him she's going to be at this party. He's going to be there too. He buy her a dress. And now Mia, she's not trying to date him. But then there's a place, there there was an incident where he posted, she sent him a picture, a private picture of her in lingerie. He posted on Mm -hmm. Instagram. And it kind of came up. I think Shauna was like, you okay with that? And Mia's like, well, he's claiming me. I don't care. But Mia's still in her phase of like, she's dating around. But she wears this man's dress to the party. And I'm like, was that the right thing to do? I don't care how expensive it is. Yeah. He posted the picture after he caught her in some lies. So she's, you know, texting her friends back and forth like, yo, I'm about to run this nigga for, run this nigga pockets and shit like that. And he posts the picture. Um, and so to answer your question, is wearing the dress the right idea? To me, I don't know if because I'm, I'm 38 as well. Like if someone, I realize if a man, just because he buys you something, you have to just think about it for me. Like, what is he buying? Is he trying to buy, purchase you Mm -hmm. or just do something nice? That's not. Him buying her the dress and be like, put this on. If, if that was her, that was her man, her husband, different. This nigga you went on one date with? I'm like, uh, I don't know. What I can appreciate about Mia is that she is on the come up. And she's very vocal about that. And even when she's like talking to him outside you know and his friends are laughing she's like look i got fucking bills bitch like the fuck (laughs) like what are we doing here you know i can appreciate that about mia i think that if the dress were to mean something even if it were to mean you're my property i think mia is the type of person who would like that looking at it i knew i knew it was gonna blow up yeah. And it did because she ends up she was what's that boy's name? Courtney. Was Courtney new? Did we see Courtney in episodes one through four? Who's Courtney now? The guy she was went to the bathroom with. And then when she yeah, came we out, saw him earlier. Okay. Yeah, so he's the one who she was really kind of feeling. She met him when they went to the okay. studio. And, you know, they were talking and, and they went back to his place and she was, her stomach was growling and he was like, please uh, let me get you something to eat. Like, you hungry. Yeah. Okay, 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 that was him. All right, yeah. I wasn't sure if that was the same guy or not. So Mia runs into Courtney at this billboard party. They get it on in the bathroom in the dress that Cash bought her. And I'm like, this is not going to turn out good. They come out the bathroom. Of course, they're going to bump into Cash. Yeah. Cash was like, what, what the hell? They get fight happens. And I'm just like, you shouldn't have worn a dress. I think that was gonna happen if she wore that dress or not. Because <laughs> But the dress just made it worse. Cause now he think I, that's your he your man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it it is kind of like 
it's it sends a signal to him that I want to be seen in the in the thing that you purchased me. Yeah. I'm wearing this for you. You know, I wish it's hard for me to separate these two characters from the city girls and from the city girl at large, like the city girl project at large. Yes. And so there's a lot of this, like, I'm, I'm fucking these niggas. I'm, I'm, I'm I got these niggas on rotation. I'm, you know, I don't really care about these niggas. It's just, That's you know, whatever. Fine, but you can't, but you gotta just, you gotta, you, 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 you gotta be have, step ahead. you have to be one step ahead. And I think there's a lot of, it's like, is y'all some players or are y'all just lying to niggas and you can't even keep up with your lie? Because there's a way to have your baby daddy on rotation, to have this cash nigga on rotation, to have this Courtney dude on rotation, to have anybody on rotation. And everybody knows that, you know, you're dating other people. Or yeah. is there a way for a woman to do that? Maybe not. I don't know. Like, I've never tried. I've never, um, I, I ain't, look, I ain't never had, the the options it's just like it's, it's one dude or two dudes it's like ain't really no rotating around here like and i ain't never trying to do that but i i feel like sometimes honesty is is gonna make you test these skills that you you know, you're claiming to have, or maybe she doesn't claim to like have skills as it relates to like keeping multiple men in her life at the same time. But I just feel like what's wrong with being like, Oh yeah, I'm single. I'm dating. Maybe not fuck the nigga in the bathroom while <laughs> the other nigga looking the, for you. At the like, same party. The other- it, yeah, like it's it's kind of difficult. It's like, what do you want? You want shit to be? Do you want shit to be casual to see. or not? I I think that Mia is just she wants she will play at romantic intimacy, and she's going to go with like the highest bidder. So you mentioned Lamont, her daughter's father. He was going to go to L.A. She kind of talked him out of it. And he was like, you want some bullshit? Uh, That's why we're not together no more. He ain't lying. (laughs) And then we find out he is dating their daughter's friend's mom. I can't blame him. It's, It's petty, but... Yeah, of all... They, anybody else anybody else but also i don't i wish it was like her friend or something i guess this is the storyteller in me and i'm i'm not saying that i have the authority to critique this show at all um but i didn't feel the betrayal you know the thing is because at first i was like who is she i ain't never seen her before Ooh, yeah, it, took, it took me a while to figure out it was um, Melissa's friend's mom. But the thing that's crazy is that they're, th- he's intertwining their lives. Their lives are going to intertwine because, like you saw, she end up at the girl's birthday party. And it's like, damn. Like, you don't see Mia. She, them dudes, she makes, they're not coming to the birthday party. We about to see this. See, this is what you always do, Nicole. What? Listen listeners listeners remember she tried to play this game with love jones you just what you just trying to forget everything me and do no it's fine just keep it separate that's what lamont was saying lamont was so first what had happened was courtney is in the is in the um is in the booth Oh, because now, it was studio studio with Lamont, with and he's Lamont. like, I okay. want some female energy on the, 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 the. You down to the thing flirting with the nigga. That was wrong. And so he's his whole thing was like, I don't put any of this in your face. 
I don't I don't do anything in your face. So So they both petty. Now wait a minute. See, I'm when about I, to be flip flop flip and flip flopping ass bitch. So I Courtney asked her to come down to the studio. She didn't say she didn't just pop up. Was it Courtney or Lamont? Because when she was on the phone with Mia, I well, couldn't tell I, who called who called her. Either way, I think if Lamont called her, Courtney gave him. He Courtney told, her told Courtney him to there, call yeah. her. Yeah. So and Courtney, I I feel like this. Either way, she didn't call none of them niggas and try no. and do nothing. You know what I'm saying? She didn't just pop up. She ain't send no text messages. She was asked to come. She came. She wanted her little part. What's the girl name? Light skin girl. Her, what Shauna? Shauna. She wanted Shauna to come too, yeah. so they could be a group. Yeah. I don't think that she wanted to go there to to play in this man's face. Well, she didn't know. She didn't. She didn't expect Courtney to be in the studio with Lamont. Like that wasn't in her thought process. I thought she knew Courtney was going to be there. Yeah, when they called her. But I'm saying prior to when she met, when she's messing with Courtney, she's not thinking, oh, yeah, this man, he worked with my baby daddy. So that wasn't that. She just met Courtney. Well, she didn't she put them, link them up? No, I I can't remember. Either way, either way. Either way, and, and and she more than likely did that to help Lamont out. What I'm yeah. saying is this. That girl did not go down there to hurt that man's feelings. She didn't. She didn't. You brought that bitch to this birthday party to hurt mine. That was wrong. And I'm mad at the girl, too. What's her name? Tiffany. Because she could have called. Acting, girl. No. What? acting it's her fault too you call me and let me know that you come into my daughter's birthday party exactly i don't care i don't care if who who invited you you call first me all, and tell me you come in exactly and first of all you just set up here and asked that nigga I mean, how you think she feel about it? I mean, I know some women go crazy over their baby daddy. It's like, bitch, is that the way that it work out? Or do these niggas just be lying. acting a fucking fool and lying and shit? Just don't go. Her, me nor my baby wouldn't would have went. Okay, well y'all have fun. I'll, I'll you know, I'll, I'll see y'all. You know, I don't think it's the right time for us to. I think the, this is a little tense. Let's not. You know what I'm saying? Especially when your little badass kid. Always got something to say to mine. Exactly. Better cut it the fuck out for I knock her ass in a <laughs> little badass girl trying to be like her mom and her uh, whack ass grandma. Her granny. Everybody need their ass beat for real. That little girl was getting on my damn nerves. Mm-hmm. I hate disliking children, but that little girl, like, shut the fuck up. Um, back to the billboard party again. Lord AK mm-hmm. sets himself on fire. True. But before that, we kind of see that I don't know if he's dealing with like anxiety or depression. Like he's talking to me at the party, and um, I don't know if he seems he seems kind of antisocial in a way. And I guess the DJ puts him on blast to perform. And you can tell he's really not trying to perform. And so it seems like he put on his hoodie to kind of like disguise himself to just do a performance. Mm -hmm. And then somehow he and Shauna end up in, I guess that was his hotel room. Like that's overlooking the party. And they start doing something, but nothing happens. I guess he it can't can happen. <laughs> he can't. I was just, I was watching it. I was like, get it up. <laughs> Cause he can't. He can't. And I'm sorry. Like there's some going on. There's some anxiety said, that is impacting some, the blood flow. He did take some drugs. 
because him and his friends was talking about shrooms or whatever, whatever drugs he was taking. And then he like goes on the balcony and sets himself on fire. So was this intentional shit? And I will never damn know. They done left it on the damn cliffhanger. I have no clue. Did he do it on purpose? Was this a mistake? But that was a lot because how it's not like he bent over and his hair caught in the candle. That was his whole body. His whole body was ablaze. And if that is like self-induced, that is a very painful action to take. And it isn't instant. It's not like, I, I'm not about to sit up here and, and talk about the ways one can self-harm themselves. But I just feel like, to me, this feels like a fr- more of a freak accident. I'm hoping that's it. Because my God, like we got some serious issues if you did that shit on purpose. Because it's also like you're endangering other people. Fire yeah. spreads, nigga. It's not like you going down somewhere and like, um, it's not as if this is harm that has no possibility of harming other people. This could have easily, you could have easily took down everybody at the party. What the fuck is you doing? So the tour is over. Oh, before that, um, Shauna and Raina Rain kind of had a little, a little, uh, what do you call it? Falling out. A little well, argument. Argument. Um, Mia and Shauna, they were supposed to apologize to Raina Rain, I guess, for upstaging her in the previous episodes when they said they weren't going to perform with her at the party, but ended up performing by themselves at the party. Mm-hmm. But then that kind of went left because Raina is pushing Shauna saying, you know, you don't sound sorry. I feel like you don't like me. Like, what did I do to you? You seem like you always hate me. And Shauna was like, because you whack, basically. And so they kind of had a little falling out. Um, yeah, but now they don't have to worry about that because the tour is over. Lord AK is in the hospital and the girls are back in Miami. I know I'm not about to say anything that's too groundbreaking. And I want to, maybe this is something that Raina said to Shauna, but Shauna is doing the same thing. Well, not, no, she's not doing the same thing because there's a racial element involved, but Shauna is kind of wearing a persona as well. Um, because it just seems like we're leaning into street hood girl persona because you see that that is what works and that is what sells when really you just write for Mia. Really? True. You ain't gotta, you ain't gotta do this. You just write for that girl. But I think Mia likes having being in a group. I think Mia likes being in a group because rap is not her her first language. It like as yeah. far as art art is concerned. So I think that she's really leaning on Shauna to validate her yeah. her ability, you know? I just feel like once Mia steps into her own artistic power. What the fuck do she need Shauna for? I don't, you know, I I think that she, I think that we they're getting closer as friends, even mm-hmm. though I don't like the way Mia's friends treat Shauna. <laughs> yeah, I think that they're definitely getting closer. They definitely care about each other, but like I would like to see what their friendship would be like without the music without the music because without the music do they even have a relationship Mm. 
or they're just going their separate ways. Just seem like they're creatively. business partners. They're they're yeah. business partners. They're business partners who care about each other. It's like a coworker that you really like, but had if it weren't for that job, would you really wouldn't really talk to them? But it might be better that way because it's easier to, I guess, differentiate between business and personal in a way. Could be. Could be, but I um and this is not to say that Mia is a selfish person. I I mean, I think that we've seen Shauna do like do Mia dirty in in a way. Like when um they're on stage and and Shauna kind of just goes off on her own little tangent. It's like, yeah. girl, what the fuck is you doing? And also when when she hears that the song that she does with Courtney that's produced by Lamont is like they is is gonna get some traction. It's a really good song. You know, you're happy, but you're also jealous. I mean, I've we've all been that friend when something good happens, like, oh my God, I'm so happy this is happening for you. I wish it was happening for me, but it's happening for you, you know. So I just I don't know. I I say that to say I don't think that I think Shauna is just as can be just as selfish as as Mia. And I don't even think selfishness is is the worst thing in the world. But my initial point was this. Shauna, you fake. <laughs> you you're leaning into Mia's personality in order to make this rap shit pop. But you be the first one to to point out somebody else's flaws. I, child, I ain't got time. It's 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 light skin. Oh, it could be. It's a, a light skin audacity. I mean, you hear this all the time when people they kind of like they have to water down their art in order to make it mainstream. And maybe she's just upset about and she's she's upset with herself about that. Yeah. So I can I can get it. Um, Shauna and Maurice. Maurice been recording their conversations. Good. Um, <laughs> Send Shauna to jail, even though jail shouldn't exist. Fuck that girl. Like everybody knew what they was doing. Everybody. Now I'ma leave it alone because y'all was stealing from the white rich white folk. Leave it alone. But. Recorder all day. Hit record. Is this bitch recording? Is it on? Is it on, honey? Shout out to T. S. Madison. Go ahead. So when they're back in Miami, Shauna is staying with Mia because Shauna's roommate, I guess, subletted her room because she thought she was gonna be on tour for however long. So Shauna's with Mia. Um, as we stated, Mia does, I mean, Shauna doesn't really get along with Mia's friend. So she goes over to Maurice's house unannounced and is like, yo, can I stay here? And he's just like, uh, okay. And we see that Maurice's cousin does not care about Shauna. He don't like her. He don't want her around. He's like, record all them conversations because she need to go to jail too. And we see them blow up when Maurice's cousin comes over and he sees Shauna and he's like, you serious? Are we serious right now? Then he um, blurts out, by the way, Maurice is recording all y'all conversations. And then Maurice is stuck like, uh, I mean, (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I was, I am. So we find out Maurice Maurice is going to jail, um, but if he fifteen months, yeah, fifteen months, 15 he can't get a he can't get a reduced sentence if he brings someone, if he snitches, which is where possibly Ashana comes in. Mm-hmm. But um, we see he does end up going to jail. Mm-hmm. And he gives his phone with all the recordings. He, did, he never deleted any of the recordings of Shauna. Because Shauna's been calling him. She's been calling him, blowing him up, talking to him. 
and he has everything. And the only reason she's calling is she calling him because she cares about him or is she calling him because... I, I think because she's nervous. She wants to know what's going on. Yeah. Because she ain't heard exactly. nothing. She's been in LA and she's just like, what is going on? Mm-hmm. Like, what's happening over there? What do I need to be aware of? What, what, am, I, what am I coming home to, basically? Am I going to come remember. home to I police at my the, door? In the first season, who was like the brains behind the operation? I feel like Maurice put Shauna on. Yeah, and, and I guess that's the only reason why I'm just kind of like, if Shauna doesn't pay for this, fine. If she does, fine. I mean, because it's not like, if Shauna was the one who was the brains behind the operations, who recruited everybody, who was like, encouraging everybody to do this then i would be like all right now shauna how you gonna let this nigga take the fall but i mean that's what people do you know but and the thing is I, the cousin thinks shauna snitched because when the police showed up at their job about whatever the stolen credit cards we don't really know what was said or what wasn't said but it's the assumption that Shauna said more than she was supposed to say. Cause she probably did. <laughs> Do we know? Cause I feel like we have, we, I like you said, we don't know what it said. And I thought it's just cause I wasn't really paying attention all that much because I just wasn't, but I just feel like I'm sure she did. Yeah. And I, and I think that Shauna would do that to anybody if it was if it was her oh, and Mia. Yeah. I think that she would do that. I that's why I'm like I don't really, I don't really also, see it for nobody. Shauna's not a criminal. I don't think she she don't know how to. She would easily fold under pressure. She ain't got no street smarts. She like me. Yeah. That's what my mama say. Like y'all ain't got no street smarts. But that's why I'm not stealing people credit card information. Cause, so that's and also like when people be testing you like you you don't know what to do which is why it's odd that you take on this rap persona that's not you because she don't know what she's doing you don't know what you're doing at all just like something like that silliness with mia's friends a hood girl would have been cursed them hoes out oh yeah she's shiny soft yeah yeah shiny soft that's no lie about it we see her parents um, in them early episodes. <laughs> you compare Shauna's parents to Mia's parents or Mia's parent, it's like night and day. Yeah. Um, should we talk about chastity? You said, should we? Yeah, how she got beat up. Or- and then, so there's a, a turf war going on between Chastity's workers and I guess uh, competition and who own or who runs Biscayne and Chastity is like we said before she's not She's not the man or the woman or whoever. Mm-hmm. Like she's just not. She's not you it. Ain't even no good pimp. <laughs> Trash. Everybody's trying to figure it out. It's all right. So these girls. I mean, it's like they. What? Oh, what happened? When Chassie was gone, the girls got kicked out of one motel. And then they just ha- they have nowhere to work. Basically. Mm-hmm. The girls have nowhere to work. They trying to work on Biscayne, but the competition is like, no, y'all not. We got Biscayne. And then Trasty, I guess she run up in all the motels, uh, rooms, and it's like, get out, get out, get out. And then it comes back on her because she get her ass beat for doing that. And then it's just, it's just a big old mess. She needs to get out the business. I don't even see the point of her. Like, is she even making a lot of money? What did she think was going to happen? 
I don't know. She thought she was big and bold. I have no clue. Trassy, she don't, none, none of these girls think. She's no think. She's just on impulse. It's like she's just, she's just under all this pressure and she, nothing is thought out. But is the girls making, Are you under making a money? Lot of pressure? Or is it time it for you to just like it's, pack it's it up just, and go? It's time for her to stop. Like just. And fill out some job applications. Mm hmm. Yeah. Like maybe you just shouldn't be doing this. It's not. It's not your line of work. Mm. -mm it's not. So Chastity, I said she goes on a date. She meets this girl named Alex, and when they were in L.A., who at is the billboard party putting it on? Yes, her from the. I'm like, because at first I was like, do Chastity is this flirting with her? I was like thinking the same thing too. I'm like, she definitely flirting. And then I was like, is Chastity asexual or do, is she just not attracted to this girl? Because I know you, because I, because at a certain point, I'm like, she's picking it up that she, that this girl likes her. And I'm, I'm wondering, I don't for one second think that Chastity likes this girl back. She just knows that this girl can do something for her. Mm, so she's like a Mia? Mm-hmm. Nah, I so, support it now, but I'm just, I'm just saying. Okay, so Alex works with a label, and they're talking, Chastity. So at the Billboard party, this is so funny, Chastity is like Googling all these people at the party because she don't know nobody, and then walking up to them like she know who they are, and they're dismissing her until this one black woman is a, shows a little bit of interest and then she goes to like put her number in her phone and she was like, is this me? Cause you can see Chastity just Googled her to figure out what her name was. So she like screwed that whole thing up. And then, um, she ends up meeting Alex, Alex ends up approaching her and then they get to talk and Alex is like, okay, she works with this label and you know, this white man is her boss and, she listened to Shauna and Mia. She's interested. And so Alex and her boss are in Miami. They meet up with Chastity. And Alex and Chastity get into it. Or they... They have a little romantic... Did they go on a date? Well, I couldn't tell. Ch Alex was on a date. Chastity, I don't know if she was on a date. <laughs> like, if Alex was on a Ooh. date... I don't know what Chastity was on. Chastity was on a networking event. Chastity was trying to... But they go back to Alex and, where Alex is staying. And Chastity almost fumbled it now. She's like, okay, I guess I'll see you in the morning or later. And Alex was like, oh, I can... Oh, you can come in. And we can finish this on the inside. I so really Chastity, wanted Chastity to go home. I really wanted her to go home because I, I don't know how to read this. Do what did you want in that moment? Like, you and this could Alex be the brilliance of the show, or it could be, I don't know. But I just kind of feel like, are do you want to go inside? Are you just going inside because you think this person can advance your career? Are you just going inside because you don't know how to say no? Are you going inside because, you know, you don't want to seem like a chump? You like, and all of these things could be true at the same time. So I, you know, but I'm, I'm just wondering like, what's, what's Why happening internally? Inside? with chastity i just want to know what she wants and i feel like i haven't i haven't gotten to the to the root of that yeah when she said when alex was like um something about dating and chastity was like i haven't had i haven't had a relationship since like seventh grade and i'm like so you yeah. never had a relationship that's that seventh you grade never had a, you, so you never, never had, had, a had one Middle school does not count. And no. I'm like, 
So does chat like does she even does she even date? No, because everything about her is a fucking uh, fa farce. Like <laughs> everything about her is 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 like rehearsed the day the second before. Like it, everything is a everything is like a chess move. Like there's there's no there's nothing authentic about it. And I think to me that is a critique on poverty and. And the inability to like move advance up economically. So now I got to take on all these damn personas, be fucking fake with people just so I could fucking survive. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Cause we, we're joking about like, just go fill out some job applications. I, I really do think you should go fill out some job applications, but at the same time, shit, you about to be fake and phony up in them jobs. <laughs> I mean, yeah, of course. Yes. You're going to, you're going to, but Tracy must she messed it up with um Alex as well because okay, so Chastity, Alex, and Mia and Shauna, they all meet and they're talking about this um this label. They're interested. Mia and Shauna are excited. They're I guess they're trying to get all the information they can. And um, Alex was like, okay, well, well, we'll get back to you about all the specifics about the deal. This is the same time when Francois gets them a session with Partisan Fontaine. And that's when we said earlier, Francois is like, okay, you got to pick either me or Chastity because I'm not putting this song out if y'all finna go do the deal. I Chastity wouldn't either. Alex. Chastity gonna try and get up in my face talking about some don't nothing happen unless I'm in the room. <laughs> Bitch, who the fuck is you talking to? And this is what I be talking about. Like sometimes I feel like you will get further farther along if you stop trying to fucking bully people. But that's all she knows because she be bullying them sex workers. That's all she knows. And let me be honest, be a I, don't, I don't think that I don't think that Chastity would have gotten anywhere with Francois because Francois is just a, is a piece of shit, um, just like everybody else. And, you know, I just I just kind of feel like, nigga, you ain't got no damn. Wh what are you going to do? Quit trying. Like, stop. Stop. So Shauna and Mia have a big decision to make. Do they go with Francois or do they go with Chastity and Alex? And um, Shauna is like, Francois is where it's at. Mia is like, I get it, but Chast like, why should we just, we just going to just let go of Chastity? And they do. They have a meeting and they say, we're going to go with, Francois and Partisan Fontaine. And you see Chastity is hurt. But we also see at the end, Chastity, okay, so Francois is no longer with Raina. Why? I can't remember. He just said he wasn't with her no more. Right? Did he... Because she him? got another manager, um, AK, what's his name? A1, A, Fire. Lord AK. Trying to be Richard Pryor. Oh, um, Gat. Gat, because his man, because Gat was the manager of, with Lord yes. AK. That's the one he was being rude to the women. Yeah, the dark skinned okay, women. Only letting certain women in, in yeah. into the scene. And, um, you know, Shauna acting like, that nigga is a problem and that nigga is a problem. But my thing is this, you are who you fucking be around. So you got to ask well, why this. Shana was mad because Gat was doing all these podcast interviews about the situation with Lord AK acting like he, I don't know. It just felt like Shana felt like he, she, he shouldn't be speaking so much or he think he was capitalizing off of the incident. With Lord AK when this man is in the hospital trying to recover. That's Shauna's beef with Gat. 
Um, she goes on lives to express her opinion. A lot of people agree with her. And I, I think what she's saying is true. I just don't think that Shauna needs to be the moral compass for anybody <laughs> with the shit I mean, you well, fucking be doing. Listen, no one's perfect. Um, so Gat is working with Raina. And now Chastity is working with Gat and Raina. And you see what I'm saying? Like Francois said, hey, if you're going to go with Chastity, my work stays with me. That's just that. I'm not going to like, and maybe he would have, we don't see it, do we? Like Francois isn't saying, if you work with Chastity, I'm going to find a way to fuck with y'all. No, it's just my work that I'm doing is my work. Chastity heard no and was like, oh, let me fuck everything up. Bitch, you's a lame ass nigga. I mean, you was a fuck nigga. It's an opportunity. She took it. And now everybody supposedly can be happy. But we'll never know because... We're not going to get another rap shit. We'll, we'll never, never know. know. Maybe another network will pick it up. Hopefully. Hopefully they don't mess it up. Because I've been watching the game. And when that game, when the game turned to BET, you can tell it changed. But I don't know. That's the only thing. When ne- other networks get shows, they be it be changing. Yeah. What would you like to see? What would you have liked to see if this show uh, gets us a third season? Um, I'm just curious to see how Chastity, Gat, and Raina are going to work together and how far like Francois and Mia and Shauna can get. Because I'm still side-eyeing Francois. Because I'm like, hmm, can you? Are you as big as you say you are? I like that about the show it kind of just exposes the what like we already yeah. knew about the music industry and that like True. you can't trust no motherfucking body and also Lamont I wouldn't be surprised if Lamont levels up because the whole time in these past four episodes you know people um well me as friends are downplaying Lamont like Oh, well, he been in the same position for these past how many years? Like, even when he was pregnant, he was trying to be a rapper. Melissa, how old now? And he's still in the same position. And so if Lamont levels up, that would be a a shock. Well, not a shocker. I I could see that happening. Because then he said he don't really want to work with Shauna and Mia because part of the deal when it was going to go with Alex and Chastity um, Mia mentioned like working could, with yeah. Lamont, and Lamont was like, "I don't need to work with you because it's messy. Every it's, yeah. it's all, and honestly, the shit with Chastity would have been messy. Yeah, I, Lamont is quite honestly the only person that I care about. <laughs> Lamont and the little girl, even though the little girl get on my nerves, she's a child. She don't fucking know no better. But I, for one, I think Lamont is the best actor on the show." He's good. Yeah. Two, I think that he's the only one who feels like like this is really his art form. Yeah, Mia was never trying to do that shit. Shauna was on some other shit. Yo, yo, mm-hmm. other artistic pursuits wasn't working. So you leaning on somebody else. Well, they kind of they kind of fell into it with that seducing scheme. They were just playing around with seducing scheme, and it just blew mm-hmm. up. So it's not like so they kind of and Lamont helped it, just it blow up. Yeah, like yeah. Lamont did the first song. Like I just I feel like I would love to see more of Lamont. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I was, liked seeing him be vulnerable in a way, like getting back with his baby mama. Not, you know, right. Lamont ain't perfect. Lamont is no. not perfect. But um, I liked, I like seeing him, like 
not trying to be flexed up with her like oh yeah oh you going la oh yeah i'll come out there i'll, I'll come out there right now you know what no, i'm saying but it she wasn't in, she invited him and then reneged yeah. on the invite and he was like you know what you on that bullshit forget like forget it i wish i was as strong as lamont he would have went <laughs> i would have been like <laughs> no like when when mia came back trying to fuck with him is like child Lamont is like, I ain't I ain't got it. Now you could tell yeah, he he's had a still girlfriend. trying to like he had a girlfriend because that's what well he was serious. But you ain't over it. You ain't over it because when um when Mia is like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna go out with my mom, you know, she on and off with me sometimes and he's like, mm, I guess that's just what y'all do. A nigga that's over it wouldn't even touch that. Wouldn't have even touched that. Just would have been like, Oh, you know, I hope y'all work it out. I hope y'all work it out. That nigga, okay. he's right to have some <laughs> Listen, he been dealing with this. M- Melissa looked like she about five, six, seven years old. He got, he got, he been in there a couple long, long enough. So he got the right to. Yeah. Hey y'all, hope you enjoyed the show. Hit us up on Instagram at Curry Gumbo. Hope to see you next week. Bye.